Venea, where have you been? Egil, why do you go so far to destroy the Bionis? We survived that battle. We should have created a new world in which we could live in peace. And we still can. The rage of those who were annihilated by the Monado will never dissipate. Think not about avenging the dead. Think of the living. Please, Egil. I... I don't want to lose you. Are you so resigned to giving your life for this? Life or death, I care for neither of these. The agonized cries of our brethren resound within my ears. Until they are silenced, I am deaf to all else. Egil. So, you have finally arrived, heir to the Monado. You are Egil, leader of Maconis. That I am. Of course. You have never seen me outside my face, Yalda Balf. But even if I am without it, you will never defeat me. Wait. I didn't come to fight you. Cowardice? Then relinquish the Monado and kneel before me. I didn't come to surrender to you either. I just want to know something. You have my undivided attention. Ask your question. I've seen the legends of the Machina right here in the capital. I think I understand why you want to fight the Bionis. But why send the Mechon to attack the people of Bionis? <laughs> I don't see the joke. We share the same world. The Homs, Nopon, and High Entia live in harmony. So why not the Machina too? Tell me, boy. Are you familiar with the concept of starvation tactics? Of course. A military strategy in which you cut the supply lines and starve out the enemy. So, then you understand that that is the best method by which to ensure victory. I have no resentment or hatred for the peoples of Bionis. I am simply depleting the Bionis energy. Striking back at the titan that robbed my people of their lives. I don't understand. Perhaps you need me to put things more simply. All life on Bionis exists purely to feed its master. What? Ether. The base element of all things that exist in this world. My body, your bodies. You are aware that Ether is the foundation of them all. Y yes Ether is power. You are the source of that power. All life that is born from the Bionis dies and is returned to the Bionis. Unlike the Mechonis, the Bionis feeds on ether provided by those who return to it. Upon the moment of its eventual awakening, it will require an incredible number of lives. But that means... What are you talking about? Are you saying we're just food? It was the Bionis that created you for such a purpose, not I. So you attacked Bionis to reduce the Bionis power supply? Correct. You are nothing more than bugs to be devoured by my sworn adversary. Do not speak to me of your foolish dreams of unity. Foolish? We only grieve for those we've lost, as you do. Machina or Homs, we've suffered the same. Don't tell me it's different. Indeed. We have both suffered. So then. You doubt my convictions, my reasons. In order to avenge my people, I have risked everything. Can you say the same? Yes, we can. To get this far. We fought long and hard. And yet, you do not fight me. Your words are useless. It is only strength that can prevail. Shulk, this whole thing stinks, but he's got a point. Agreed. Egil, leader of Maconis. 
The lives of the Machina and the lives of all that lives on Bionis are one and the same. We won't stop. Not until you realize that. Now I shall finally rid the world of you bugs. You shall pay. You shall pay. Let's, mo Let's focus our efforts. Oh, swing! Oh. <laughs> In your face! 
You shall we pay! Prepare to die! You shall pay! Finish fight. We ain't even starting. Feel the full force of my strength! Let's go! Come out of nowhere! Right here, Mom! You shall pay! You shall pay! Feel the full force of my strength! I'm it! There's no end to them! And even with the Apocrypha, you know, Egil. You know the reason. Hmm. The power of the will to protect your own. Is that what you refer to? And what of you, Venea? You would side with those of Bionis and attack me. You have forfeited your right to exist. Perhaps. If that is to be my fate, I gladly accept, brother. As would any of the villagers. So the few remaining members of my people have now betrayed me. Interesting. You're wrong! The villagers and I, we just wanted all this fighting to stop. Egil, all we wanted was to live with you in peace. Nothing more than that. Nonsense. There will never be peace until the Bionis is destroyed. Brother! <laughs> Your blade. It did not cut deep enough. The Golden Mechon. Permit me to apologize for calling you bugs just now. Prove to be a worthy adversary after all. Shulk. I 
shall teach you just how inferior your kind truly is. Wait! I'm feeling it! I'm done! We're depending on you! Yeah! I'm not quitting yet! You will never be beaten!
to die. Shook. No. Zanza. Zanza. Uh. I won't let you kill Shulk. You. That life. So you have returned. Our grievances have come and gone. But you are willing to lay down your life to prevent me from achieving my dream. You were the one who said we would live together, Lady Mayneth. Yes. Mayneth, the villagers, everyone loved you. That is why they wished to live alongside you. It's all so clear now. To Mayneth and to me. I waited until the day when you would awaken once more and create a world full of light. But you are nothing more than a traitor. To me, to all those who worshipped you, and to our fallen brethren. Please, you have to listen to me. Egil! I will not listen. Your words mean nothing. You have sided with my sworn enemy. And gods can never exist alongside mortals. Mayness! Mechonis, it is I, Egil, I, your devoted servant, offer my body and mind to replace Mayneth as your new soul. Take my spirit and be reawakened. Mechonis!
We have to run! Get out of here! The whole city's gonna come down! We have to get out of the city! Get as far away as we can! Uh, Gado! Where are you? Gado! Shala! What are you doing? He's gone. He's not here anymore. There's no time. We have to get ourselves out. No! I have to find him! Gado! Uh, uh. Pull yourself together! Remember, Sharla, we've got a job to do. What's going to happen if the Maconis starts moving? But... What's going to happen to Juju and Atharon? Gado's a Hom soldier. He wouldn't have hung around here to die. He would have got out. Uh, all right. Right. Now, come on! Live, Charlotte.